is a Chromebook. It is a $199 laptop and it is not running Windows and it's not running Mac OS. It runs something called Chrome OS, which is an operating system created by Google based on the popular Chrome browser. These laptops are basically designed for being online. It looks just like a browser and it works just like a browser, but there are apps. They're called web apps and you download or install them kind of like you do on your phone. There are apps for just about everything. If you want word processing, you can use Google Docs or even Microsoft Word Online. There's Spotify for listening to music. There are photo editing programs, presentation makers. It's basically all there. Now, when Google first announced Chrome OS in 2009, it was a little bit of a flop. People weren't ready to have a laptop that had to be online all the time. But all of a sudden, a few years later, and a few changes to Chrome OS, and these inexpensive little laptops are starting to take off. Price is obviously the big selling point here because Chromebooks range in cost from $200 to $350. And about that being online all the time thing, you actually can access documents offline. And a recent update to Chrome OS means that you can now watch Google Play TV and movies when you're not connected to the internet. So you can watch a movie on a plane, which is really all we ever wanted. There are definitely some downsides. For one thing, these things don't have a lot of storage. 32 gigabytes is about the max, so think of it like using a phone. And if you don't already have a Google account, you do have to create one and of course use Google services, which not everybody's totally comfortable with. The operating system does take a little bit of getting used to, and it's just a fact that it works better if you're online. And then of course, a lot of people say that if they're just gonna be surfing the web and downloading apps, they'd rather use a tablet. The next year or so could be very interesting. Sales of Chromebooks have been steadily creeping up and Google and Intel just announced that 20 new models are coming out over the next few months. 11 inch devices, 13 inch devices, touchscreen devices, anything you want. Looks like Google may have a surprise hit on its hands. Well played guys, well played.